I'm using your barcode fonts and when I apply the font to my data it looks like a barcode but does not scan. My barcodes are not reading. Help! If you're creating barcodes it can be a very frustrating experience especially when you create the barcode, print it, and expect it to scan. It's worse if you have to send the barcode to an establishment that is not able to scan it. Don't bang your head on the desk just yet. I will explain the top five reasons a barcode font will not scan. The number one reason a barcode font will not scan is the data is not encoded. The printed quality of the barcode is poor. The barcode is set to a font size outside of the specification. The barcode type or symbology is not enabled in the scanner. There are too many or too few barcode data characters encoded. Question: What is the most common reason a barcode created using a font will not scan? Answer: The data is not encoded for the barcode using a font encoder. What is a font encoder? A font encoder is a plug-in, add-in, calculation, formula, or source code that modifies the data by adding start-stop characters, guard bars, or a check digit. Basically, it encodes the data to produce a dense, scannable barcode. Let's take a look at how this works. The data to encode is the data to convert to the barcode. The data passes through the encoder to produce encoded data. Apply the barcode font to the encoded data. Let's look at another example. Let's use the ID Automation online encoder to format the data to encode. When I select the Code 128 button, the data to encode is passed to the font encoder and the encoded text is the result. Because this is a demonstration, I've pasted the encoded text into a text editor. Select the data and apply the barcode font. In some cases, barcodes that are displayed fine on the computer can lose quality once they're printed. It is important to take into consideration the quality of the barcode. If the printed barcode is blurry or distorted, it may be a good idea to check the print resolution, as this may be a common cause. Also, avoid converting the font into an image such as a bitmap, as this will distort the barcode. Verify that a laser or thermal printer is used to print the barcode, and that the toner is good. Barcode fonts must be printed at specific sizes, also known as point sizes, or they will not scan properly. Certain point sizes represent valid X dimensions. X dimension is the width of the narrowest bars in a barcode, which all other bars are built on. It is generally calculated in mils or centimeters. For example, a valid point size for code 128 printed to a laser printer is 24 points. If the barcode is set to an invalid size such as 23 points, the printed barcode may not scan. Ensure that a valid point size is used. While some barcode types are enabled by default in a scanner, many others must be manually activated in order to read. Make sure that the barcode scanner is configured to read the type of barcode that you're attempting to read. If you have confirmed that the scanner is programmed to read the barcode type and it still does not recognize the barcode, contact the scanner manufacturer. Too many or too few characters in a barcode may prevent the scanner from reading it. If you are attempting to encode a small amount of characters, ensure that the scanner is capable of scanning a minimum amount. Most scanners are set to read a minimum of four characters in a barcode. This means that if a barcode contains one character, it may not read unless the settings in the scanner are modified to read the barcode with at least one character. On the other hand, if there are too many characters encoded in a barcode, then it will be too large for the scanner and will not read. For this particular issue, decreasing the font size or reducing the amount of characters may resolve the issue. There may be many reasons why a barcode created using a font will not scan. We've discussed the top five reasons in this video. If you're working with ID Automation barcode fonts, you can get direct support from our staff regarding these matters by contacting idautomation.com.